Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the land of seasons after fall. Like Splinter and Smarch. A land of mystical beasts and unknown mysteries. Today it is my job, no, nay or say, my privilege to help you decide whether or not you should put your hard-earned cash into the steamy coffers of steam or whether you should save your money for another. This is Ryanakin, and I will be your guide this day. A bit of forewarning, there are some minor spoilers. Not enough to ruin the game for you, but enough that you get a general idea of what the game is about. Also, you die. You play as a small green ball of floaty fairy poot. And through the magic of British actress exposition... Stay there, little seed. Leave the rest to me. You end up possessing a fox. Now playing as Possessed Mr. Fox, your task is to look at all the pretty colors as you follow a fairly straightforward path to your destination. That is, until you meet Mr. Baloo here. He's a bit of a sourpuss. He looks at you funny for a while, then gives you a fancy, rancid, floaty fairy poot. If you bark at the poot, it changes seasons. It changes seasons! I mean, come on, to be honest, what were you expecting? It's a game with seasons literally in the name. Anyways, this game is classified as a puzzle adventure game. I can see the adventure, but what about the puzzles? I see no puzzles. Oh, you get things to move things and they require a different season to function properly. Ah, oh, that's kind of neat. So anyways, you're tasked with collecting all of the Dragon Balls. I mean, uh, essences of the seasons from the four guardians of the seasons. I'm not showing you a few of them because I really don't want to spoil anything. Also, I recorded this game in its entirety from start to finish, and there's a crap ton of footage I just couldn't give a Rudy Patootie about. I mean, no, it's uh, better to immerse yourself in a game should you choose to buy it. Yeah, let, let's go with that one. By collecting these orbs of seasons, you're able to absorb them in this weird British grove adding the seasonal powers to your roster of usable abilities. But everything is not as it seems. The land twists and turns, the puzzles get harder, and you begin your adventure in a more corporeal form. You'd better leave before I regain my powers. You saw what I did to the forest, so what do you think I could do to you? Go now. I won't tell you again. One more step, and you'll regret it. Don't say I didn't warn you! Stay away! No! Newsflash, British girls are evil. But also not evil, okay? Um, it's, uh, it's complicated, okay? The rest of the plot I want to remain a mystery. But know this, by this time you're about an hour into the game and you have about three more hours minimum to go until you complete. Let's jump out of the plot and to the gameplay now, and talk about the game as a whole. The pros and cons. After all, you may or may not want to play this game, and you want to know what the gameplay is like, don't ya? Yeah, I thought so. Let's talk about the good stuff first. As you heard from the beginning minute or so of this video, the soundtrack is hecka fleek. Am I allowed to say that? I mean, it's my birthday while I'll be posting this, so yeah, heck yeah, I'm allowed. This soundtrack was a maze balls. Too far? Yeah, yeah, a bit too far. The visuals of this game are also, to quote yet another YouTuber, very nice. Each landscape is presented in all four seasons, each as beautiful or in some cases terrifying as the latter. The voice acting is also above average for this type of game. No Academy Awards for it, but everything seemed to flow nicely, and at no point did the dialogue interrupt the immersion of the game. Now let's get to something that could be seen as both a pro or a con to different people. The game is a bit slow-paced. It is story-driven, but it's slow. The majority of the game revolves around exploration and puzzle solving, so as you can imagine, there is a lot of transitioning. Transitioning beautifully, mind you, but transitioning no less. And the cons. Backtracking. Oh my goodness gravy, the backtracking. Each of the four zones you need to go to are at the far ends of what would be generally considered the cardinal points. There are no fast tracks until you're about three hours in, and even then, those fast tracks are sometimes longer to get to than tracing back your steps. 
Every time you get to an end, you collect an item, and you gotta make your way all the way back. Yes, there are puzzles mixed in to help tide over the monotony of you holding a button in, and it wouldn't have been so bad if the areas changed after a while, or if the other tasks after collecting the four seasons occurred in different areas, but no! You have to run to the end of each and every branch of the game, not once, not twice, but three times. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. It is a dead time filler. And it really does suck the fun out of a lot of what you do in this game. Also, this one particular puzzle is evil. Absolutely evil. There are no arrows, no hints, you just have to wander around until something pops up or blammo you got yourself some annoying, overcomplicated platform puzzle that a fox does not like platforming. But I digress. Overall, it is a pretty decent game. Now let's get to the brass tacks. This game costs 19 Canadian dollars. I played it from start to finish in 4.7 hours which included all the time I spent in menus and also setting up my recording software. So, is this game worth it at its current price? <laughs> Heck no. Not at that price. Yes, I understand developers need money to buy food. They poured their heart and souls into a game for years on end, but when that game is mostly padding and revisiting places you've already been to, albeit in four different seasons, and even then the game lasts for less than half a dozen hours, I can't in my right mind pay that much for it. If I had to put a price tag on this game, I'd probably slap 8 or $9 on it. 50% of the amount it's currently going for. But then again, that's just my opinion, and I hope that some of what I said today will assist you in your quest for entertainment. Will you be nabbing this game straight away, or will you wait? Let me know in the comments down below. Seriously, go comment. I like to know these things. And thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you agree or a dislike if you disagree with this opinion. And as always, my villagers, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!